Hi, welcome to WorkCraft, the studio side of craft work. Today we're figuring out bases for marbling. On Tuesday, I'm going to be doing some classic marbling with a carrageenan size and some ink on top, marbling onto paper. But in the studio today, we're figuring out if there's any way for you all to marble at home. So right now I'm about to test some shaving cream and food coloring, two things that I think a lot of people probably have in their kitchen and their bathroom. Um, and I'm just gonna jump right into it. I'm gonna take this shaving cream and shake it up, remove the cap. And then I have a tray here. You could probably use any sort of flat surface, like a baking tray or um, a baking tray is the only thing that's coming to mind right now, but I'm sure there are other flat surfaces that you have. I don't know, like a sled. You could use a sled if you have an extra sled. I'm gonna put the shaving cream all over the surface of this. It looks delicious. Don't eat this. I guess I'm like, oh. <laughs> oops. I guess I'm really gonna load it up here. It kind of expands as you go, which I guess, I don't know, I guess you all know that um, if you shave with shaving cream. So um, I'm gonna wanna level this out now because it's kind of all over the place. I have a flat tool that I'm just gonna scrape along the top of it. You could use a ruler or anything else that's flat. This is some kind of wall, wall hanging instrument. All right, that's about as flat of a surface as I think I have the patience for right now. Um, I'm gonna wipe off the excess and just put it on the side here and then I'm gonna wash my hands, be right back. Okay, so I'm gonna drop some drops of food coloring onto my shaving cream. Just like, I guess kind of in stripes is what I'm going for. It's not spreading like marbling typically would. This isn't gonna work the same way as in the live stream, but I think we could potentially get some cool patterning on the paper, um, even so. So now that I have my four colors on the shaving cream, I'm gonna take a, I'm just using the end of a paintbrush and I'm gonna do some patterning here. Just kind of push it around. I like these little hearts that show up. I'm not gonna touch those. I'm gonna go near them. I'm not going to go on them. So I'm gonna try and print the first piece actually through a stencil. I have all these like random little shapes in stencils here from a project I worked on. Um, I'm gonna use this like mustache one. And I'm gonna put it right where those hearts were that I like. I'm gonna push it down so that a little bit of the shaving cream comes out through there. And then I actually just need a small piece of paper since it's a small stencil. And I'm gonna put that on top. I'm just making sure that the whole thing is coated with the shaving cream. And we'll see, this is my first time doing this with shaving cream. So we'll see if it works. I'm picking it up. There is a mustache. Um, I'm gonna wanna scrape the shaving cream off and see if the color stays. So I'm gonna use that same metal device. See if it worked. Yeah, kind of worked. I 
I'm fairly pleased. <laughs> Since I have this all out and like this, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna remove my stencil and toss it in the sink. And then I'm gonna try, I'm gonna add a little bit more color to where I just removed color. And then I'm gonna try just printing the whole thing. It's kind of, it's fine, seems good. I'm gonna take this paper and I'm just gonna put it down on top. I'm gonna press it into it, see how this goes. And then I'll lift it up. And it's a mess, but I'm gonna see if I can scrape off that shaving cream, if there's anything interesting underneath, or if it's just a mess. Hmm. You know, it's not bad. It's like really messy, <laughs> but it's not bad. It's kind of nice how it prints. I mean, you could definitely get like more into the design. You could play around a lot more with the design and the colors. I'm not like a big fan of these colors together necessarily, but they're bold. Um, they're kind of like childlike and bold. I'm just gonna try wiping it down with a paper towel. Yeah, it's interesting. It seems like a lot of the color does stick. <laughs> Some of it's still a little loose, but it seems like most of it's sticking. Yeah, I think that'll work. Um, I just dropped my paper towel into the shaving cream. What a messy, like, project this is. Ew. <laughs> it's just shaving cream though, so it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna see what happens if I rinse the paper. All right, so I think that was the move. Um, rinsing the paper did fade the colors a little bit, which I actually like more. I prefer when they're a little pastel-y. Um, so if you're going to try this at home, I think the move would be to pull it up, scrape off as much shaving cream as you can, give it maybe a minute to just let the colors soak in and adhere to the paper, and then rinse it and you can just hang it to dry. So I hope that was fun to watch. It was fun to test. Thanks for being here along with me while I tested out marbling on shaving cream for the first time. If you enjoyed that and you'd like to see some more videos, you can subscribe below. If you wanna see me and Mike out in the world um, doing some 360 videos, you can also see that on our channel. And I hope to see you here again. Um, thanks for watching, bye.